Hopping into Call of the Wild, we are at 10.30, and we have, a, we have a fair bit left to do. How you doing there, Purple Warlock? Thank you for joining the stream. I'm glad you have just now confirmed that my restream chat thing is working, at least for YouTube. So that's good. Appreciate that. Um, as for everybody else, uh, let's see here. There's the game. These, uh, just like yesterday, we're still pretty much in the same boat we were in yesterday. We still need to get a grizzly bear and a plains bison as far as our large diamond animals. That's kind of what I'm focusing on for our trophy hunter series. So, yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're really going to be working. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, that one. There we go. That's what we're really going to be working on. Let's hop into, uh, let's hop into the store and just make sure we're all full up on ammo. Uh, if you're just joining the stream, you just missed the, the Elite Dangerous segment, uh, that's uh that's that. <laughs> now we're doing Call of the Wild. All right. I am rifle ammo. Do do do. I am streaming on YouTube, Twitch, and Rumble right now. I'm trying to expand my horizons. <laughs> uh okay, I think we need the 7 mm. Uh yeah, definitely need some 7 mm cuz a little light on that one. Oh, I gotta... Again, I gotta... I, I really wish that... Yeah, they're never gonna fix that. That's not something they're ever, ever gonna care about. I always have to reset my resolution to make sure that my mouse actually is pointing where my mouse is pointing on my screen, because it doesn't always do that. Okay. And then we got 454. Yeah, definitely need to buy some of that. We ended up taking out the things for that. All right, cool. All right, so it is currently 10.35, so uh, if we're going to go after some bison or some bears, we need to find some need zones where they are. But unfortunately, I have a lot of hunting pressure right here. So, yeah, there's that. Not really interested in going after moose. Um, I mean, I guess we could try to go after some caribou. We still need diamonds of those, so... Maybe. Yeah, let's try to go after some caribou. Why not? We don't have to be stuck on the specific animals that I've decided that we're going to go after. I would prefer to go after the big guys, but we need to reduce the hunting pressure in the areas that we've been going after those guys. So that way, uh, they'll be a little bit less spooked when we try to go after them again. So there's that. Okay, and we did spawn a reasonable distance away from the need zone here, so... We're going to run out to about 150 meters. For our offline audience, I would typically put a cut in if we were going to be traveling a long distance, but we're already we're already within 300 meters, so there's no really no real reason to do that. Uh, but for caribou, though, I am going to start. I am going to slow down a little bit earlier than I normally would because the deer species, is, you know, caribou is a deer species. I'm pretty sure uh, it. They they tend to be a lot more skittish, so. Uh, I want I want to be a little bit more careful with these guys. Uh, let's see. What is our diamond for caribou? It's going to be 430 or better for our diamonds. That's what we're going to be looking for. So let's make our way through here. Unfortunately, it looks like the need zone itself is either going to be on the other side of this little hill here, or I'm actually going to crouch down now because... Oh, the goose. Um, yeah, a, a lot of times we get this unfortunate situation where the need zone that we're trying to get to is like right on the other side of a hill, and we have to crawl. We have to get almost on top of them before we have a chance of getting them. So uh, I'm gonna go. I think right at around 70 meters, we're gonna go into a low crawl because I don't want to spook them, but at the same time, I don't want to wait. I don't want to. Okay, hold on. I gotta remember the low. I think my I think control is my low crawl button, but I don't remember. No, it is Z. Okay, there we go. Okay, well now we're gonna have to do the slow, drawn out process of low crawling our way over to this. So I'll bring the offline audience back once we're able to see something. All right, we're getting pretty close to our need zone here. I'm actually gonna risk crouching to see if there's anything here now they don't necessarily they're not necessarily 
they're not necessarily going to be on the need zone. They could be anywhere around the need zone. And they may not even be here. Um, they could have moved on already. They're pretty liberal with the times on this stuff, so, you know. They could be here. They could have moved on to their next thing already. They, they could be in route to their next thing already. There is no hard and fast. Yep, they're going to be here during this time. Um, again, that's why it's called hunting and not <laughs> and not uh, getting. So if they're here, they are in the trees, and I'm not going to be able to find them. So we're just going to charge through, see if maybe I can flush them out and get lucky and catch a shot. Or Okay. We got a mating call, but I can't imagine that close that they're that they're not gonna run. With all that with all that running I was doing, so I'm just gonna go. Don't even know what that was. It was a male though, so that's good. Uh, that was a female. Try to see if maybe I can catch her, but man, there was one there. Oh, 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 oh! Come on. That's unfortunate. Alright, no idea if we got anything good on that, but... Oh well. This one is a nice little small one, though. Got ourselves a nice... Ooh, barely got a barely got a vital organ hit on that. That could have been... Uh, that, that could have been nothing. Did we actually kill this one? Alright, yeah, it looks like we actually got this one here. So, let's place the waypoint there. Um, I'm gonna run up to the... Let's run up to the lake over here and see if we can see across to the other side or maybe down a ways. Maybe see something that's sitting out in the open. Does not appear to be much in the way of animals hanging out by the water right now. Just trying to keep a lookout, keep a lookout, keep a lookout. Huh, okay. So, oh, we did end up dropping another one. I don't remember. I don't know. Sometimes it goes so fast-paced, I lose track of what I did. All right, this one was a nice uh, liver shot. Yeah, liver and stomach. Not too shabby. I can live with that. But now we need to find... So we got this one here, this one here, and then another one that was, like, right here that we took a shot at. So I just want to see if I just want to see uh, if the I want to see what kind of shot we got. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What are we gonna have here? Non-vital organ hit. Yay! <laughs> oh well. Um, we'll follow that in a second. Let's go over to this other open area here and see if me... Ooh. Oh, that looked like it was going to be an animal. At a distance, that looked like an... The shadow looked like an animal. But that, that's too far away for the anything to render there, so it is what it is. Okay. We'll follow the tracks here. Okay. This is the female... That, oh, I got it right in the head. And then I forgot to uh, forgot to bring you guys back for the other thing there, so sorry. Okay, um, let's see. We're still in the. We're still. The problem is, is that we're we're really right there next to another. We're on the cusp of another need zone, <coughs> or of another need uh, need time or whatever. But uh, as I've said many times before. The, the need zone times that you see here, they, they're not necessarily going to be there exactly within those times. There's a there's a transition period between them where uh, 
you know, they have to move from one spot to another. So if you're in, if you're well in the middle of a need zone, just on the off chance. Um. Oh man, I think I may have trapped myself here. I'm gonna have to go all the way around this way. Uh. I keep forgetting to bring the I keep forgetting to bring the regular audience back. Damn it! <laughs> all right. Well, if you, you just some of you just missed out on a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, I had a whole herd of caribou fleeing, but they were fleeing towards me, and I ended up trying to take a bunch of shots at them, and it just it just didn't work out. So there's that. Great. <clears throat> um, I've been seeing a lot of videos for people using that ship for for combat, which is funny because it's supposed to be an exploration related ship. And uh, yeah, ah uh, ha ha ha, funny funny. I uh, I'm actually I'm actually much better at this than I'm letting on right now. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that that herd of caribou that just ran by us was the was the one for this need zone here. Ugh. So that's fine. We'll uh, we'll walk over to the lake over here and see if we can get any kind of open uh, open shots at anything. Does not appear that there's anything nearby right now, though. So yeah, there's that. Can't tell if we actually if we got that big one that we shot, and if we did, unfortunately, it's gonna have run for a very long time before we get to it. So it's gonna be another one of those ones where I just let it go. Yeah, it just seems weird to me that you know everybody wants to use it as a fighter and it's supposed to be an exploration. Sh this like it makes me feel like the it makes me feel like the whole anaconda thing where. You get one ship that's supposed to be one thing, but then it ends up being really good at a bunch of other stuff. And it's like, dude, <laughs> come on. I'm, I mean, I'm personally not a big fan of super versatile ships. I, I think that if you're going to get a ship that... If you're going to get a ship that's able to do a bunch of different things, it should be very, very mediocre at doing all of them. Because it's, I'm just... I'm not a, I'm not a fan of... Uh, like, because then there's no reason to do the hyper special to get the hyper specialized versions. Like, why would you? Why would you bother doing that? There's no point. It makes those ships relatively useless. Okay, caribou. But we're just we're right at the end of a need zone though, so I guess we need to start looking for like something that's in the 12 to 4 time range. So yeah, there's that. Because everything here is 8 to 12. I mean, the moose are in 12 to 16. But I already, ha I already have diamond moose, so I'm not really that worried about them. I really want to find either more plains bison or caribou or the grizzly bears. Ugh. Ho-ho-ho! <laughs> See, I can shoot. <laughs> A long range shot. You saw that. You saw that bird just go straight down. Okay. Uh, yeah, right here in front of me. Let's go see how we did. Is it? Is that? I got two. Two for the price of one. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, a couple of Harlequin ducks. They kind of sucked, but, you know, a couple of ducks is better than nothing. Cleared out a couple, make the uh, make the average score for those a little bit uh, a little bit higher now, hopefully. So, yeah, unfortunately, I just I don't I'm not sure where to go right now. I'm not really sure where to go right now cuz None of the need zones for anything that I really want to go after are going to be active right now, so... Oh, 12 to 16. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. But unfortunately, I think... 
That's fine. We'll do the we'll do the cheesy way of hunting the plains bison. We'll just run up and shoot him with the pistol. <laughs> if we if if it's too close for us to really do anything, we'll just run up and shoot it with the pistol. It's not really the not really my not really the right way to do it. Oh no, okay, we're good. Um, and, and I was gonna say we'll switch our loadout since we're right here, but I don't really want to do that. Let's just get over there and see what's available. Uh, let's see for um, for the bison. We need a. We basically need to be up in like the 190s to have any real shot at it. To re have any real shot at a diamond trophy. So let's close the distance. Take a look at what's available there, and hopefully. Look at all these guys here. If only I could actually shoot them. This game has a mechanic. This game has a mechanic that uh, doesn't let you shoot anything if it's in a. It doesn't let you shoot any of the birds if they're in a uh, like a travel formation or whatever. It's an arbitrary limitation that they put on it. Well, the problem is, is that we just got into the need zone here. The the the, the need zone time frame. You really want to be kind of like in the middle of it. So anywhere between like one. 12.30 to to uh, 3.30, you have a really decent chance of finding them there. Realistically, they're probably on their way into the need zone. They're probably still traveling from wherever they were before. But, uh, yeah, we can keep an eye out for them and hope that maybe they show up. Okay, they should be right on the other side of the hill here. Got a Plains Bison mating call. Worst comes to worst, I'll just charge in with my pistol and take down as many as I can before they run. I have this instinctive need to like try to peek over the hill with my head like, like that's actually going to do something. Alright, here we go. We're going to switch to the pistol because it has a... Oh, maybe not. We may have to use the rifle. They ran They ran faster than I thought they were going to. Okay. They ran sooner than I thought they would. Should have left that moose alone. I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting kind of punchy because I'm, I'm I'm wanting things to happen and they're not. Okay, where did our bison go? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I dropped that one. Okay, come on, no, come on, reload, reload. Uh, I was hoping she would she would stay facing that way. Mostly just trying to get rid of them. I'm also kind of hoping one of them will get aggressive towards me, and that way I can just duel him and not have to chase him down. That is an absolutely viable strategy. Get them mad at you, and then they charge you and make it easy on you. Okay, so we'll just we'll just keep following these guys and. Maybe take out the entire herd. They all end up just kind of running in the same general direction, so as long as you keep following their path, all the ones you shot, you'll eventually catch them all. What do we got for this one? Nice bronze. Didn't get... We hit it more than too many times, but that's all right. Any other ones drop nearby? Not really. Kind of curious to know if we got that moose. I feel like that first shot that we took was actually pretty decent. Maybe not. I don't know. I was too busy trying to go after the <clears throat> bison to uh, pay attention to that, but who knows? So yeah, if we just keep following the tracks, they'll eventually slow down, and then uh... oh yeah, we got a couple of vital hits here. Very nice. They'll eventually slow down, and you can kind of catch up with them and then take them out with your pistol. 
when I was trying to make a bunch of money back in the day, way back in the day, I uh, that's how I made my money. I would just I would take out entire herds of bison with my pistol, with my with my 454. But now I've lost track of their. Now I've lost track of the trail. Great. Because I don't think this track over here is it a bison track? I don't, yeah, it's not a bison track. Ugh, I lost track of them. They must have turned off in a different direction and I didn't catch it. Where did they go? Where did they go? Ah. Uh... Okay, is this it? No. I have completely lost track of my bison. Oh, here we go. Like, I know they I know they couldn't have just disappeared on me. Alright, we got this one here. Another bronze. Not overly concerned with my score on these guys, so we're just going to keep on running and hope that maybe we can sort of catch up with them and take a shot or two. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get used to, to, to bringing people back when I'm supposed to, because... I'm used to a different format. All right, we got a nice silver there, but we took we, we shot a bunch of the bison over here, so yeah. Uh, it's called uh, Google SketchUp. Da, 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 da. They have free and paid versions. Uh, I used the free version. Okay, yeah, we definitely got some decent hits on some of these guys. Unfortunately, I got distracted having to run after that one that charged me. I'm usually pretty happy when that happens, but uh, this time I'm not necessarily because... Oh, I forgot that there were wolves on this one. Let's pull out our rifle, and maybe we'll be able to take a shot at a wolf here. Mm, maybe not. I'm not seeing. Oh, yep, another one of the bison went down. That's good. Two of them. There's one right over there, too. All right, uh, I don't think we're going to get a chance at the wolf, but uh, another silver. Probably another silver. Just got a warning call of some kind, but as usual, the graphical glitches cause the visual for that not to pop up, so yay. That's fine. We'll just keep running this way and see if maybe we can grab one more of these guys before we call it a day. At least in Call of the Wild. Doo -doo. Okay, well, we got the Grey Wolf fleeing. Oh. That'll do it. I don't see any more. Okay, cool. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it good for Call of the Wild. Be sure to click the like button, subscribe to help us reach 10,000 subscribers. You can join as a member for early access to videos, among other perks, or just leave YouTube's version of a tip with the thanks button. Be sure to come back for future live streams that we're doing every day at 4 p.m. Pacific time and uh, future videos to come out. Thanks for watching.